So yeah, uh, this is my introduction to Subversion. Um, as you can see, I'm making this available um, under the Creative Commons license, so feel free to grab this from my website. Um, the URL's there later, but and I'll, I'll email it to the list afterwards so if anybody wants it. Uh, it's there in PDF, uh, XSI, which is the open office presentation format, and uh, HTML. Um, and by HTML, I mean lots of JPEGs with uh, HTML pages wrapping them gently. That's how OpenOffice explores its HTML. So, or that's one way it can. Uh, let's see here. And I did not have my stuff together. Oh, All right. <coughs> so, this uh, talk is kind of lengthy, so I'm going to go pretty fast in the beginning, but feel free to slow me down uh, if you have questions, comments, etc. Um, so what the version's all about is it's supposed to be a replacement for CBS, which of course was a replacement for RCS, which was a replacement for CBS. Uh, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So CBS, pretty good um, by and large. Had a few uh, a few things were difficult in CBS. Uh, mainly, I found uh, in large projects, branching, tagging, merging, uh, well, renaming a file in CBS. Renaming a directory, you got to do it on the repository end, so it's kind of garbage. Um, so, of course, what all revision control tools do is they re uh, record the revision history of the document, and they give you various ways to manipulate those documents. So, you know, if you've uh, been coding for a month down the dead end, you can say, oh shit, none of this is going to work. Let me throw away this month's work. But, um, so this is the replacement for uh, having tar run out of Tron every night. Um, <laughs> this is a slightly better way to do things. Um, and it, also a big thing with Subversion and CBS is that it allows for concurrent development. Um, in fact, the C in CBS, I believe, was concurrent, specifically concurrent. And, and so, of course, that allows the development team to work on the same code base with uh, minimum friction. Um, okay, so since the version is meant to replace CBS, um, it supports basically everything CBS does, and the exceptions tend to be when a CBS feature is actually more like a bug. Um, and uh, now a chap on the list did bring up two points in which he thought CBS was actually better, and hopefully we'll remember those. So we'll get to the diff one later, and the other one I might just have to throw up my hands um, and say, oh no. Uh, which I don't like to do, but um, if most of you have probably used CBS or seen it, um, the SVN command line is going to look very familiar to you. Um, the, by and large, the commands are called the same thing, they do the same thing, they take the same options, by and large. Um, and we'll see, let's see. The cool thing about Subversion is that directories, renames, and metadata are actually um, Control, the revision is actually controlled in Subversion. It's not in CBS. So in CBS, a directory is simply a directory in the repository. You can't uh, go. You can't say, "Give me this directory as it was six months ago." CBS is going to be like, eh. um, "Subversion will oblige." Uh, and the metadata is cool. Um, we'll see how that works a little later. But for now, just take my word for it that it's uh, version commits are atomic. Um, if any of you have used CBS on a big project and you commit uh, 30 files at the same time as somebody else does and two of those files overlap, well, it's possible that 15 of his files beat your commit, but then you slip in a file. So it's all interleaved, and that can create some really nasty, hairy, disgusting things um, that uh, cause a lot of work for CBS administrators. Um, and I know because I've been a CBS administrator for a long time, and it's not fun. So in Subversion, it's like a transactional database, right? When you say commit, it starts a transaction, and it does not commit that transaction unless the whole thing can be done atomically. So, hurrah. Um, revision numbers. Now, this is a big uh, difference. This is an important point. Let me point. Um, revision numbers and log messages are per commit, not per file. Now, what this means is, that uh, in CBS, if I have three files in a directory and I commit to one of them, that file's revision gets bumped. Okay? I commit to another file, its revision gets bumped. The third file 
its revision is still whatever it was before. Okay, so each file has an independent revision. In subversion, um, and this is a takes some getting used to uh, when you first start it. Every time you commit, that bumps the the revert uh, excuse me the version revision number of the entire repository. Okay, mm -hmm. so you commit even one single file that makes that takes the whole thing to a new revision number. Now, in the beginning, you're like, what the hell? This is the stupidest thing ever. But then I, I found after a week, I realized, no, this is a much better way of doing things. Um, and you'll see why later. Um, but it has a lot to do with branching, tagging, um, conflict resolution, that sort of thing. Now, the only thing that this does mean, I'll talk about that later, right? That, that's important. Uh, just like CBS, it's client server. Subversion um, can do the standard CBS server thing where you connect over SSH or God forbid Telnet. Um, and by Telnet, I actually mean our shell, not Telnet. But um, or it can do it can run as an Apache module using WebDev. Now, the WebDev stuff seems really really cool. It sounds cool. I've not got it running successfully yet, but I only spent. <laughs> I only spent a day or two on it and, you know, part-time because when I was doing all my subversion stuff, I was also lead developer on a project that had to be done a month ago, so, you know, I couldn't fuss around the subversion ad nauseum. No, there was some nausea. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to just talk about the SSH thing. Actually, everything I show you is going to be local. It doesn't matter with subversion. Um, Cool thing about Subversion is that the client uh, keeps a bunch of data locally in the working copy, which in CBS it really doesn't. So CBS you can't do much offline, but Subversion you can actually get a fair bit of work done offline. Obviously you can't commit because there's no repository to talk to. But um, you can. Uh, okay, client and server were designed to use bandwidth efficiently. That's what that Delta B stuff is all about. Delta B is kind of like an rsync style thing where you transfer just parts of files. I don't know why they didn't just use librsync, but um, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't wrong. No, no, no. Librsync's been around forever, and that's the end's pretty new, but um, whatever. I don't know what the difference between the two algorithms are, but that's basically it's for efficient bandwidth usage. So, because they realize that, you know, projects are big, um, you know, some have hundreds of developers, like open source projects, I mean, which is what the version is for. Um, it was developed by the Apache Foundation, so they actually have three people who are being paid full time to work on it. Um, so it is open source software, it is free software, depending on your definition of Why was it on Tigris? Tigris is just the... Uh, the Apache Foundation's uh, project, SourceForge clone, I believe. Okay. That was my understanding. If anybody knows differently, if I'm wrong, <coughs> tell me. But I, I, I don't know. know. Okay. I, 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 didn't, I didn't think it was yeah. associated. But yeah, that's right. It's subversion.tigris.org. Um, but Tigris just appears to be a SourceForge-like thing. Um, SourceForge, of course, doesn't have subversion yet, but they're supposed to be rolling it out sometime soon-ish, um, which will be really cool. Um, <coughs> And terminology, all right, repository is the central location where the server stores the, uh, uh, the files, um, and this is typically in a Berkeley DB uh, setup. Luckily, there is an alternative. Um, <coughs> the subversion root is something that I took from CBS. In CBS, we all remember the, S, uh, the CBS root environment variable and all that stuff. Subversion doesn't really have a concept of subversion root, but I found that if you keep all of your repositories in one directory, that makes a lot of sense on, on the server. So I I call that the subversion root, and other people seem to too. So terminology I think is good. Um, and the working copy is your local checkout of uh, a repository, uh, just like in CBS, same deal. So CDS have these things called sandboxes, which I think is interchangeable, really, um, with working copy. Creating a subversion root, MKDIR, 